If you're looking to buy a retro VHS camcorder, I think the camcorder to buy is the Sony Hi8 camcorder. So I picked this up for about 160 bucks. So it is a little more expensive than some of the other VHS cameras you're gonna see on the market. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you why I think this one is the one to buy. When you're on the market for a VHS camera, there's tons of options out there. If you go to eBay, you'll notice there's different brands, there's different years, there's even different types of VHS. I mean, you have eight millimeter tapes, VHSC, you know, the options can kind of be overwhelming. So for me, you know, I've actually purchased probably five or six VHS cameras before I finally landed on the one that I'm happy with, and that's the one I'm sharing with you today. Pretty much the main issue that most people run into with VHS cameras is batteries. And finding a VHS camera that has a working battery, if you go to eBay, you're gonna see listings for cameras that are, they say they're working, they say they've been tested, but they don't have a battery. They just have the wall outlet adapter so that you can actually turn the camera on and kind of test out the functions. And the main reason I suggest this VHS camcorder out of all the others is the batteries. So luckily with this camera, it still uses the Sony MPF batteries. And these batteries are still made today. I mean, I use, I'm using one on my Blackmagic right now to power it. I'm using one on the Atomo Shinobi monitor I'm using. So these batteries are really readily available and that's the main reason I suggest this camera. Now that we're past the boring stuff like the battery, I wanna tell you probably my favorite feature for this camcorder and the reason I actually chose it over the rest of them is that it has the night shot mode. The night shot mode is really cool. It, it gives that night vision green uh, tint look to it. While this is pretty easy to replicate in post, there's nothing better than actually doing it in camera and getting that authentic look. But if you're in the market and you know that the night shot mode is something you look for, Typically in the eBay listing, they will list Night Shot as an option. And that's kind of the reasons these ones do cost a little bit more than uh, some of the other options. Okay, so let's dive into the features of this camera. Let's go ahead and power this thing on for us. One of the really nice things about this camera is that it actually does have a color monitor. A lot of the older cameras that I have, they don't have a color monitor. You know, it's not a big deal, but it is nice to have. But you know, you're gonna get that with any of the newer VHS cameras. I know Hi8 is one of the newer types. If you're going towards an eight millimeter, maybe a VHS-C type, they're probably not gonna have that color monitor, but just read the listing of the camera you're looking at. Or if you're following my advice, definitely pick up one of the Sony Handycams that does have the uh, night shot mode, but you know, totally up to you. Maybe you have one lying around, a family member, you found it in a closet, and you're just here to learn how to use it a little bit more. So let's dive into this camera a little bit. One of the first features I do wanna show you guys is the night shot mode. So there's a little dial here on the side of the camera. So I'm just gonna toggle this right here. You'll notice that the camera does alert you that you are in night shot mode, but it'll be pretty obvious when you see the green tint show up on the camera. So no mistake there, you're not gonna accidentally record night shot mode if you don't want to, but if you do want to, you know, it'll be pretty obvious when you are doing so. So with this one, it actually has quite a few physical buttons that you're able to change your focus, you're able to use the fader, you're able to adjust your volume, exposure, date time. And I've noticed, like I said, on some of my older cameras, there's only a few physical buttons and you're using those buttons to cycle through menus and that's just not fun. So that's, you know, really big advantage for this camera is all the physical buttons you have. So pretty much something that goes hand in hand with the night shot mode is the actual light on the front of the camera. Well, this one actually doesn't appear to have any mounting options on the camera. I'm trying, I was trying to look to see, you know, if you could mount a light to this if you wanted to. But luckily we don't have to because if there's a little button up here at the top that says light, and you're gonna turn that on and it's gonna be a nice flashlight. There's a lot of music videos out there. You know the ones I'm talking about. They have, you know, the green VHS look and you can tell that there's no lights on. Maybe someone's sitting in a car and they have the, the flashlight on them. So that is a really good option with this one is being able to actually turn on that light and illuminate your subject, whether that person, you're shooting a music video, that person might be in a car or somewhere dark. I mean, that's typically the case if you're shooting in night mode anyways, right? So that is a really cool option. Luckily, mine still works. You know, when you're looking at different options, you know, make sure that the model you're looking for does have the light. You'll just pretty much have to look at the eBay or Facebook marketplace, whatever listing or site you're looking at the camera on. Just make sure that it has all the options you want because there is quite a few cameras out there. You know, a lot of people 
you know, stumble upon older VHS cameras during estate sales or, you know, just any type of garage sales, they think, hey, this is a VHS camera, you know, I can make a quick buck on this. A lot of these cameras don't really have any value. I mean, like I said, towards the beginning of the video is if you can't find a battery for it, you're kind of shit out of luck, right? So definitely look for a camera that, that has battery options. And that's why I really like this, this Sony Hi8. I do have this RCA Wonder camera, and it did serve me well for about two years before I actually picked up this Sony Hi8 camcorder. You know, the aftermarket battery I picked up did actually work for this camera. It just stopped working after a while. It threw a code and I tried taking apart the camera and I had no success. Um, and I'm a pretty handy person. Another camera that I do have and I did pick up from eBay is this JVC video movie. And you can already tell why I picked up this camera. It's pretty sweet looking. Um, but as soon as I got it from eBay, it wouldn't actually record. And luckily enough for me, I did reach out to the, the eBay seller and he was able to actually refund me for the camera and let me keep it since it was essentially just a paperweight at this point. And I was actually sending him some proof showing him uh, the code that it was giving me. I even tried fixing it myself, but it just seemed like it was too much work for, for what I had to do. So there's a bunch of cool options out there. I mean, you pull up on set with one of these, people are definitely gonna give you some looks and be like, man, dude, that, that camera is sweet. And while I agree with them, you know, if you can get a working model on something like this, go for it. Just end this video by saying, you know, use the camera that you have. Don't go out and purchase one of these cameras if you have an option that'll work for you. But I just wanted to give, you know, my thoughts and opinions on which camera I think is the camera to go with if you are purchasing one. So thanks for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a blessed day.